the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lay down an eyeshadow base. I've already got Stay Don't Stray by Benefit on, but I'm just going to put a bit of primer potion on over the top of it. And this is Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin, I believe. Is it Sin or Eden? Um, yes, it's in Sin. And this is just going to help me to kind of, um, like, it's just going to help to bring out a bit of the shimmer of the colours that I'm using. So I'm just going to pop a bit of that on the top there and just blend that in and on its own it's a really lovely champagne sort of colour but put other colours on top of it and the actual champagne colour doesn't come through but the sparkle does which I really like right now for eyeshadow I'm going to take Glamour Doll Eyes Apple Martini which looks like this it's a really nice kind of pale green and I'm just going to pop that all over with a large chisel fluff brush brush and I'm actually going to use this wet so I'm just going to spray a little bit of water over this brush pick up a bit of the shadow and then you just want to work it into the lid just kind of really pick it up while it's wet I'm just going to place that all over the top of the eyes and you see that sort of gorgeous colour coming through there so that's just gone all the way up to the crease and it's just this really nice sort of block like well, apple sort of colour really. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of slightly two-tone this and bring out the more golden-y kind of brownie um, part of it. And I'm going to use a colour from Makeup Academy and this is their Loose Eye Dust in shade number 5. And if you haven't seen, I've done actually reviews on the two previous products that I've just used. So the Makeup Academy Eye Dust and the Apple Martini and I'll post a couple of links up here to my reviews. Um, I didn't actually review the eye dust per se, I forgot to swatch it, so you'll get to see what kind of colour this comes out. I'm just using exactly the same brush and it's still a bit wet from the Apple Martini. I'll just show you, I'll just swatch it really quickly. That's the kind of colour that it comes out, that sort of golden-y, kind of with a slight greenish, goldish tinge to it. And I'm just going to use that just to two-tone the eyes just to give a little bit of depth to them and I'm not really going to take it any higher than the crease and so that's just kind of deepened the eye colour so to speak so now it's just this kind of really nice two-tone green you could leave it like this but I actually want to bring out a little bit of the more sort of brownish undertone so I'm just going to take a nope that's a blending brush um, where's the brush I want to take it's here somewhere There we go. I'm just going to take a um, what's this? A slanted eyeshadow brush, which looks like that. It's from Body Shop, and I'm going to take a little bit of Dino Spots, which is another Glamour Doll Eyes colour, which is this really gorgeous reddish sort of brown. And I'm just going to take a bit of that and place it into the crease, just to really give the eyes a bit of depth to them. You see there? I'm not using it wet because I don't want the colour to be very intensified, but I just want to darken the crease a little bit. And then I'm going to take the chisel fluff brush. I'm just going to take a bit of Dino Spots and work it above the crease, just to almost give a a muted kind of cut crease look to it. I'm just going to work that up a little bit towards the brow bone. So you see what we've got now is this kind of brownish green sort of colour. It almost, it's not really very eloquent, but it kind of almost reminds me of like the, the kind of colour apples go when they're a bit old, a bit rotten, sort of that sort of thing. That's a really horrible way to look at my eyeshadow, but still. Um, I'm going to take that slanted brush again, and I'm going to take a little bit of Dino Spots and just place it underneath the lower lash line, just to give a little bit of definition to the eyes. I'm just going to do that. And I'm only going to go about halfway, just about up to where the pupils are. This is just going to give a little bit of definition to the under eyes because I'm not actually going to use a, um, a waterline liner in this look. Um, and then I'm just going to take a tiny bit of apple martini and work that in to about two thirds of the way in. But I'm not going to go all the way in and close up the eyes. And then just blend it into diner spots.
and then as you can see you've got that kind of defined eye there now you could leave it there and just put mascara on i'm going to put a tiny bit of a an upper lash line liner on if i can uh -huh. this is from gosh it's called an extreme art eyeliner and it's in shade number 25 and it's just a really nice kind of sparkly silver i'm just going to place a bit of that on the upper lash line and then as you can see that's just given a really nice sort of definition to the the top without being too harsh you could if you if you were like going out or something like in the evening you could go for a black but i've opted for the gray because i wanted something a little bit less harsh um for mascara i'm gonna use my new favorite mascara which is called lash stiletto which is the ultimate length mascara and it's actually advertised at being what was it, it was something about like just because it's lengthening doesn't mean it can't be thickening and stuff so it kind of does both I'm just going to pop that on the lashes and I'm just going to pop a couple of coats on just to really get it thick. Right, so now I've got my mascara on. I'm just going to quickly blend out the top of the, um, the eyeshadow because it's a little bit harsh for my liking. So I'm just going to take MUA's pressed eyeshadow in shade number 16 which is a matte kind of peachy pink and I'm just going to work that with a big fluffy brush. You could use, um, I guess, a MAC 224 would suit this quite well. But I'm just using, this is from Crown Brushes, it's the C147. I'm just going to kind of diffuse that colour a little bit. Just so, it looks a little bit more professional when it's more blended. Um, right, I'm going to go away and grab a cheek colour, because I'm not sure what I'm using. I'll be back in just Right, now for cheeks and lips, you could go one of two ways. You could either play towards um, your kind, like, if, like me, you've got natural pinky undertones, you could play towards that, and also pink complements the green quite well. Or you could play towards the goldy sort of colours, which are going on in the eye. So if you were going to go for the pink, I'd suggest using something like Pink's, uh, Max Pink Swoon, which is a blush like that. And then if you wanted a, um, a lip gloss, I'd go for something like... Uh, Rimmel's Vinyl Gloss in, doesn't say the number, but it's this kind of pinky sort of colour there. Um, I, however, am going to go towards the more goldy side of it, because I haven't worn gold stuff in quite a while. And I'm just going to take a blusher brush, and I'm going to use the Body Shop's blusher in 03, which looks like that. It's just this kind of really nice sort of muted pinky brownie sort of colour. I'm just going to swirl my brush around in there. I'm just going to apply that to the apples of the cheeks and work my way up just like that and then for lipstick I know shock horror I'm not using gloss I'm going to go for a stick for a change I'm going to use golden peach by Avon which is a 24 karat um, lipstick and this actually has little gold flecks in it so I'm going to pop that all on Just like that. And then there you have it. There is a um, apple green sort of eye. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any requests for further tutorials or reviews or anything, please don't hesitate to send them to requests for aliabombalia at live.co.uk.